So yesterday, we had a carjacking in the north area of the city where a vehicle was taken. Uh, during the report of that vehicle being carjacked uh, from a citizen, we obtained a, a description of that vehicle. Fast forward to today in the area of El Camino and Cantalier. One of our officers observed that carjacked vehicle to be parked on the curb. Uh, as our officer made contact with that carjacked vehicle, there was a suspect inside of that vehicle. From the outset of the contact, the suspect was non-compliant inside of the carjacked vehicle and a struggle occurred between our officer. At one point during the struggle, our officer used a taser, but it was ineffective. The suspect was able to gain access to the driver's seat of that carjacked vehicle and attempted to flee the scene. When the suspect fled the scene, there was a collision involving one of our officers on foot. That officer sustained moderate injuries and was transported to the hospital and thankfully uh, sustained non-life threatening uh, injuries from that collision. When the collision occurred, an officer involved shooting also occurred. The suspect was uh, located at an area hospital and sustained uh, at least one gunshot wound and has non-life threatening injuries. Our detectives are out here and our CSI are out here. Obviously the roads are closed down. We're gonna be out here for a while investigating our officer involved shooting. Obviously they're very comprehensive investigations that take a lot of time to work through. We have a lot of questions as I'm sure the community does as well. We'll be working through the investigation to get those questions answered. There's video in the area and we have information that uh, people may have been on foot and plead for those people who may have video of this incident to please come forward and let us have that video so we know what exactly occurred and we can use that for our investigation uh, to be transparent with the community and let them know what happened. I don't have any information about the suspect being armed at this point. Um, that's something that we'll be investigating throughout the day and in the coming weeks and we'll hope to get answered. There was, a, there was a collision that occurred. I don't have the full details of what exactly transpired. Uh, obviously we have our officers wear body worn camera, our vehicles are equi equipped with in-car cameras. So we'll be reviewing that video, but I just don't have the specifics of what actually occurred. At this point, we, we don't, I can't confirm anything that happened, but I know one of our officers sustained an injury from colliding with the vehicle. Uh, they will be facing charges, obviously, in possession of a carjacked vehicle. Um, we don't know if this person is the person who actually carjacked the vehicle from the day before. That's something that we're still looking into and we'll be investigating. But as of right now, we know that uh, the suspect was in possession of that carjacked vehicle. I don't know exactly how many officers were on scene. What we do know is at least two officers discharged uh, their firearms during the incident, and we don't believe any others discharged. So two, two officer-involved shooters on this one. So we have various different units that are out here, including outside agencies. The Sacramento County District Attorney's Office, uh, the Office of Public Safety Accountability comes to our officer-involved shootings to provide oversight and expertise in these areas. So yeah, we have a lot of resources out here and they'll continue to be out here throughout the day as we investigate uh, the shooting. And violent crime is obviously a, one of our number one issues in Sacramento, right? It's uh, something that we've been working on through our comprehensive plan that Chief Lester has talked about through our data-driven strategies and we're doing everything that we can to you know, make sure that our neighborhoods are safe and doing everything that we can to respond to um, crimes like carjacking, which is a violent felony crime. There's a lot of resources in the area right now. And the reason that we're asking people to avoid the area is because obviously the roads are closed off here. So they're not gonna be able to get through where they need to go. I know El Camino is a uh, main thoroughfare going over the levee into Natomas. So we just want people to know that the area is gonna be closed down. So they're not inconvenienced on their way home from work. We do not believe there's any additional suspects as it relates to what occurred today.